What's going on everybody? I'm starting on my blades. This is gonna be batch number three. I'm doing 20 blades, so I'm gonna to try to document my fixturing and how I do that and uh, take you guys through the steps. Sorry, I look kind of trashed out right now, um, but I haven't been sleeping a whole lot. We just brought my first child, my newborn baby home yesterday, which is awesome. And it's been a really, really cool experience. Uh, but as some of you may know, max sleeping duration is like three hours. So anyways, I'll flip it around so you don't have to look at me and show you guys some stuff. Thanks. All right, this is my blade stock. This is how I get it. Um, nifty bar, it's a double disc ground, so it's super flat. And water jet, a little oversized, so I have plenty to clean up. This is how the first operation goes. I'll have them clamp down with these clamps so they're nice and flat. I will drill and mill the pivot hole and the front locating hole. After that operation, I'll pull this pallet off, <coughs> put the other one on, and do the same thing. While that's going, I'll be bolting through those two holes I just made and removing these clamps. So that way I can get to the hole outside and get to the opening hole. So here is my other pallet. And this is the clamps, how they work. So this way I can... They fit right in, locates them. So I can bolt through that hole. Pop them on like that. Alright, so here's the pallet after op one's done. Put these two bolts in and remove the clamps. Now I can get to the outside. I can get to the spidey hole and I can get to where my detent hole goes. That pallet's ready to go into the machine as soon as this one's done. This one is running op two right now. And after this, I'll pull those blades off and put on some new blanks. Start the whole process over again. Here they are after op two is complete. So these are ready to be pulled off, deburred, and loaded onto the bevel milling fixture. That bevel milling fixture leans them over so I can use a long fluted end mill to cut the bevels. For now, I'm just gonna be running these same two operations. So, be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.